स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टूडे सेशन आई एम डिस्कसिंग वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम केमिकल बॉन्डिंग दैट इज हाइब्रिटाइजेशन एवरी ईयर वन क्वेश्चन इज कंपल्सरी इन द नीट फ्रॉम केमिकल बॉन्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग वन क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम हाइब्रिटाइजेशन सो आई एम मिक्सिंग बोथ हाइब्रिटाइजेशन and uh, valencian electron pair repulsion theory so one of the most important topic directly let us concentrate but one important point in hybridization only central atom will participate bonded atom never participates in hybridization and very very important point is hybridization explains only formation of sigma bond it never explains never explains formation of pi bond so size highest for sp3 next sp2 next sp repulsions if you take repulsions will be maximum in the case of lone pair lone pair next lone pair bond pair minimum in the case of bond pair bond pair now so electron pairs to hybridization sp geometry linear bond angle is 180 whereas electron pairs to three bond angle is 120 hybridization sp2 sp2 very very important all our bond pairs sp2 trigonal plane are because of one lone pair the geometry changed to v shape or angular shape v shape or angular shape next four means sp3 geometry tetrahedral 109 degrees 28 minutes one lone pair pyramidal two lone pairs v shape or angular shape three lone pairs linear next so five electron pairs sp3 d hybridization trigonal bipyramidal is the geometry because of one lone pair c sa c sa two lone pairs t shape t shape and three lone pairs linear shape linear shape next 2019 question if you observe question is there was given some four statements regarding pcl5 PCL5 undergoing sp3 dehybridization dz square orbital is involved and axial bonds are longer equatorial equatorial bonds are shorter axial bond length 240 picometers equatorial 202 picometers very important question all bonds are not same axial bonds are longer equatorial bonds are shorter this is very important next generally when you take bridged bonds bridged bonds bond angle will be less bond length will be more in diborane if you take bridged bond angle 97 and bond length is 1.34 bond length is greater the normal one is bond angle 121 whereas bond length is 1.19 angstroms so therefore this is very important bridged bond angle less bond length more so in sp3 d2 bond angle 90 all bonds are same all bonds are same so geometry octahedral one lone pair square pyramidal whereas two lone pairs square planar and d orbitals involved will be d x square y square and d z square d z square hello students the last one is 7 sp3 d3 bond angle 70 to 90 geometry pentagonal bipyramidal one lone pair distorted octahedral now i am giving a shortcut no formulas nothing directly within 20 seconds or 10 seconds how to find hybridization no short no uh, the normal method concentrate on the board generally hybridization 
sigma bonds plus lone pairs sigma bonds plus lone pairs so very simple way only thing is we should know the central atom belongs to which group let us concentrate on the board number of halogens number of hydrogens number of oxygens halogens hydrogens equal to bond pairs oxygen also we can take bond pairs but you remember one important point oxygen required two electrons that point you remember let us focus on the board so now beryllium is a central atom beryllium belongs to second group two valency electrons how many chlorines are there two chlorines each chlorine required one electron total we have two sigma bonds hybridization sp all are sigma bonds no lone pairs so therefore the geometry also i am discussing here only linear so how easy it is next example let us work out next i am taking central atom boron boron is belongs to 13th group or third group it has three valency electrons 1 2 3 valency electrons so each chlorine required one electron total three sigma bonds so therefore hybridization sp2 no lone pairs therefore trigonal planar trigonal planar here i am giving one more important point dipole moment equal to zero if it is symmetrical dipole moment equal to zero so next ccl4 carbon tetrachloride carbon belongs to fourth group carbon 1 2 3 4 valence electrons now one but just concentrate carbon fourth group four chlorines are there four are bond pairs four are bond pairs no lone pairs therefore hybridization sp3 geometry pyramidal bond angle is going to be 109 degrees 28 minutes i hope you are enjoying the class next pcl5 phosphorus 15th group five valence electrons 1 2 3 4 5 how many chlorines are there halogen hydrogen sigma bond so therefore 1 2 3 4 5 5 are sigma bonds therefore hybridization sp3 d bond angle 90 and 120 no lone pairs trigonal bipyramidal next last one sf6 sulfur 16th group six valency electrons six valency electrons six fluorines means six sigma bonds six sigma bonds therefore hybridization is going to be sp3 d2 octahedral without lone pairs so therefore which is easy one so let us continue next example if cation is given anion is given cation means the charge means how many whatever the charge that mean electrons they have to remove anions means the charge on anion we should add that many number of electrons nh4 plus nitrogen central atom 1 2 3 4 5 but plus means one electron is lost already i told you number of hydrogens equal to bond pairs sigma bonds 1 2 3 4 sigma bonds no lone pairs hybridization sp3 geometry is going to be tetrahedral next clo4 minus whenever anion is there chlorine belongs to 17th group seven valence electrons plus one extra electron each oxygen two electrons means 1 2 3 4 all are bond pairs four bond pairs hybridization sp3 no lone pairs tetrahedral is the geometry this is most important example i3 minus i3 minus we write like this i minus i2 i minus iodine 17th group minus 7 plus 1 8 plus two are bond pairs so i minus 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 when we get negative charge 1 2 2 iodines lone pair lone pair lone pair so total you see five electron pairs are there among five two are bond pairs 
and remaining three are lone pairs. Therefore, hybridization sp3d. Three lone pairs means linear is a shape. Linear is a shape. Next, ClO3 minus chlorine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One extra. And each oxygen one, two, and three. This is going to be lone pair. Total four electron pairs, but one is lone pair. Because of that, hybridization remains the same. Because sigma bonds plus lone pair, sp3. And a very very important point is, it is pyramidal shape. Pyramidal is a shape because of one lone pair. Next, XeO3. Directly we'll do. It is having eight valence electrons. Out of eight, each oxygen required two. Three into two, six gone. They left with one lone pair. Let me explain the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each oxygen two electrons. This is a lone pair. So therefore, total four. Therefore, sp three, sp three, and because of one lone pair, pyramidal, pyramidal, and bond angle is around one out three. Decreases from one out nine to one out four. Because of repulsions, XeF2 very clearly you see on a fast xenon two R bond pairs, two R bond pairs remaining three become lone pairs one two three four five six lone pair lone pair lone pair so therefore sp3d with three lone pairs linear is a geometry like this you have to find the hybridization so next one most important concept. Hybridization organic compounds. Briefly, I'll explain. So, carbon atomic number six in ground state one s two, two s two, two p two. To excite the two s electron into two p, this is very very important. We require around one twenty kilo calories or five hundred one kilo joules. So, therefore, in first excited state, electronic configuration become one s two, two s one, two p three. When one s orbital, one p orbital overlaps, we are getting two sp hybrid orbitals, and remaining two going to be pure orbitals. Therefore, in sp hybridization, two are hybrid, one s, one p, and two are pure, and the geometry linear, geometry linear. Next, here we have three, one s plus two p. So three hybrid orbitals, one pure orbitals, trigonal planar is the geometry. Whereas in sp3, four, one s plus three, one s plus three p. So therefore, pure orbitals zero, tetrahedral is the geometry. Carefully, once everybody listen carefully. Pure orbitals also are calling unhybrid orbitals. Unhybrid orbitals. Sp two hybrid. Two pure, sp2, three hybrid, one pure, sp3, four hybrid, zero pure orbitals. So this is how organic chemistry. So if carbon is surrounded by only sigma bonds, all our sigma bonds, sp3. If one pi bond is there, sp2. If two sigma bonds, two pi bonds are there. Sp. This is possible in two conditions: one triple bond or two double bonds. Here, this carbon is also undergoing Sp hybridization. So, S so one example, simple example, I am explaining. Find hybridization of each carbon. Number of hybrid orbitals, pure orbitals, unhybrid orbital, ratio of hybrid orbitals and pure orbitals, and types of overlapping. These are the possibilities. Let us discuss one simple example. Ethene I am taking. Ethene here, if you observe, one sigma, one pi bond is there. One pi bond. Actually, sigma bonds two plus one. So let me write clearly. This is hydrogen, hydrogen. So we have three sigma bonds. Hybridization equal to sigma bonds plus lone pairs. Sigma bonds three, therefore hybridization sp two, 
your hybridization sp2 or one pi bond is in sp2 so therefore first important point both the carbons undergoing sp2 hybridization second one number of hybrid orbitals two carbons sp2 means three hybrid orbitals six hybrid orbitals are present three into two six hybrid orbitals and second important point i am writing here pure orbitals with respect to two carbon will be two in sp2 hybridization each carbon has one pure orbital so therefore two next third one is pure orbitals with respect to two hydrogen how many hydrogens are there two plus two four are there total we have six pure orbitals next he was asking ratio hybrid orbitals will be six pure orbitals will be six therefore one is two one is the ratio and what kind of overlapping so if you observe very clearly this carbon is undergoing sp2 and this carbon is also undergoing sp2 first one is sp2 sp2 overlapping the second one is carbon and hydrogen sp2 s overlapping here also sp2 s overlapping so like this you have to read uh, practice n number of examples but don't forget to read ncert if you like this video do share thank you this is your yes yes